Here are 30 most commonly asked interview questions and detailed answers related to implementation projects in SAP ABAP interviews. 1. What is the role of an SAP ABAP consultant in an implementation project, and how does it differ from a support project? Answer, an implementation project, and SAP ABAP consultant is involved in designing, developing, and implementing new functionalities. The role focuses on creating custom solutions to meet specific business requirements, as opposed to resolving issues in a support project. 2. Explain the SAP ASAP Accelerated SAP methodology, and how is it applied in ABAP implementation projects? Answer. ASAP is a project management methodology for SAP implementations. In ABAP projects, it involves phases like project preparation, business blueprint, realization, final preparation, and go live. Consultants follow these stages to ensure a structured and efficient implementation. 3. How do you gather requirements from functional consultants and business users for ABAP development in an implementation project? Answer, requirements are gathered through workshops, interviews, and documentation reviews. Consultants collaborate closely with functional consultants and users to understand business processes, data needs, and desired outcomes. 4. Explain the process of creating a technical specification document, TSD, for ABAP development in an implementation project. Answer. The TSD outlines the technical details of ABAP development. It includes details like program logic, data structures, interfaces, and testing procedures. Consultants create the TSD based on functional specifications provided by functional consultants. 5. How do you approach the design of data models and structures in SAP ABAP for an implementation project, and what considerations are important? Answer. Data models are designed based on business requirements. Consultants consider data integrity, performance, and flexibility. They may use tools like Entity Relationship Diagrams aired to design efficient data structures. 6. Explain the process of creating custom SAP tables in an implementation project. And what factors influence the decision to create custom tables? Answer. Custom tables are created using transaction say 11. The decision to create custom tables is based on specific data storage needs not met by standard SAP tables. Factors include data volume, relationships, and reporting requirements. 7. How do you design and implement SAP views in a BAP to optimize data retrieval for reporting purposes in an implementation project? Answer. Views are designed using transaction say 11 or say 80. Consultants optimize data retrieval by selecting the necessary fields, applying joins judiciously, and considering indexing for performance. 8. Explain the role of SAP data dictionary in an ABAP implementation project, and how do you use it for managing data definitions? Answer. SAP Data Dictionary SAY 11 is used to define and manage data objects. In an implementation project, it plays a crucial role in creating and maintaining data elements, domains, tables, and views. 9. How do you approach the development of ABAP programs for custom business processes? And what programming techniques do you use for efficient coding? Answer. Development involves modular and efficient coding practices. Techniques include modularization function modules, classes, error handling, and adhering to SAP best practices. Consultants use tools like Code Inspector for code quality checks. 10. Explain the process of using SAP function modules in ABAP development, and how do you ensure proper interface design and usage? Answer. Function modules are reusable units of code. Consultants design interfaces by specifying input and output parameters. Proper documentation and adherence to naming conventions ensure clarity and ease of use. 11. How do you implement user exits and business add-ins BATIS in SAP ABAP to enhance standard SAP functionality in an implementation project? Answer. User exits and BATIS allow the enhancement of standard SAP processes. 
Consultants implement them by identifying the appropriate exit points, creating custom code, and ensuring compatibility with SAP upgrades. 12. Explain the process of creating and using SAP enhancement points and sections in a BAP development for an implementation project. Answer. Enhancement points and sections allow injecting custom code into standard SAP programs. Consultants use Transaction C mode to identify and implement enhancements, ensuring seamless integration with standard processes. 13. How do you approach the development of SAP reports in a BAP? And what tools and techniques do you use for designing effective reports? Answer. Report development involves defining selection criteria, retrieving data efficiently, and presenting it in a user-friendly format. Consultants use tools like Alva BAP List Viewer and techniques like grouping and summarization for effective reporting. 14. Explain the concept of SAP batch input and how you use it for data migration in an implementation project. Answer. Batch input is used for mass data uploads. Consultants record transactions using transaction SHID, create session files and process them using transaction SM35 for data migration in an implementation project. 15. How do you approach the development of SAP dialog programs DINPROS in a BAP? And what considerations are important for creating user interfaces? Answer. Dialog programs are developed using Screen Painter, say 80. Considerations include user-friendly layouts, input validations, and Effective error handling to create intuitive and efficient user interfaces. 16. Explain the process of creating and using SAP Adobe Forms in a BAP development for document generation in an implementation project. Answer. IOB Forms are designed using Transaction SF. Consultants create templates, integrate them with the BAP programs and use them for generating documents like invoices and purchase orders in an implementation project. 17. How do you approach the development of SAP smart forms in a BAP? And what advantages do they offer over traditional SAP script forms? Answer. Smart forms are developed using transaction smart forms. They offer advantages like a graphical interface, usability, and better layout options. Consultants use them for designing complex print layouts. 18. Explain the role of SAP Web DINPRO in a BAP development. And how do you use it for creating web-based applications in an implementation project? Answer. Web DINPRO is used for developing web-based applications. Consultants create applications using the Visual Composer tool. Ensuring a responsive and user-friendly web interface in an implementation project. 19. How do you approach the development of SAP OData services in a BAP? And what tools and techniques do you use for exposing SAP data to external applications? Answer. OData services are created using Transaction Segue or SAY80. Consultants define data models map entities and expose them as OData services for seamless integration with external applications. 20. Explain the process of implementing SAP workflow in a BAP for automating business processes and what components are involved in a workflow scenario. Answer. Workflow implementation involves defining processes, tasks, and triggers. Consultants use transaction suit to design workflows and various components like events, steps, and agents play a crucial role in workflow scenarios. 21. How do you approach the development of SAP? LUSM Legacy System Migration Workbench. Projects for data migration, and what are the key steps involved? Ants LUSM projects involve defining object attributes, mapping data, and executing migration. Consultants use Transaction LUSM to manage data migration projects, ensuring accurate and secure data transfer. 22. Explain the role of SAP PI or PO process integration or process orchestration in integrating ABAP systems with external systems in an implementation project. Answer. PI or PO is used for seamless integration between SAP and non-SAP systems.
Consultants design interfaces, configure communication channels, and use PI or PO for data exchange in an implementation project. 23. How do you approach the development of SAP Fiori apps in a BAP? And what tools and technologies are involved in creating modern user interfaces? Answer. Fiori apps are developed using SAP UI 5 and Fiori Elements. Consultants design responsive and intuitive apps, ensuring a consistent user experience across devices in an implementation project. 24. Explain the process of using SAP BAPIS business application programming interfaces in a BAP development. And how do you ensure proper usage and integration with standard SAP processes? Answer. BAPIS provides standardized interfaces for communication. Consultants use Transaction BAPI to find and implement BAPIS ensuring adherence to SAP guidelines and seamless integration with standard processes. 25. How do you approach the development of SAP AIL application link enabling and IDOC scenarios in a BAP for system communication in an implementation project? Answer. AIL and IDOC scenarios involve defining logical systems, message types, and partner profiles. Consultants use Transaction We 20 and We 21 to configure system communication, ensuring data consistency and reliability. 26. Explain the process of using SAP ALM application lifecycle management tools in ABAP projects. And how do you ensure proper version control and documentation? Ants or ILM tools like SAP Solution Manager are used for version control and documentation. Consultants use Change and Transport System CTS for managing transports, ensuring traceability and auditability in an implementation project. 27. How do you ensure the security of a BAP developments in an implementation project? And what tools and techniques do you use for code analysis and vulnerability assessment? Answer. Security is ensured through role-based access control and code reviews. Consultants use tools like Code Inspector and SAP Fortify to analyze code for vulnerabilities and enforce secure coding practices. 28. Explain the process of transporting a BAP developments across landscapes in an implementation project, and how do you handle conflicts and dependencies? Answer. Transports are managed using the Transport Organizer, say 01. Consultants resolve conflicts by coordinating with other teams, adjusting development sequences, and ensuring proper testing before transporting changes. 29. How do you approach the testing phase in an ABAP implementation project? And what types of testing are crucial for ensuring the quality of developments? Answer. Testing involves unit testing, migration testing, and user acceptance testing. Consultants use tools like a BAP unit for automated unit testing and work closely with functional teams to ensure that developments meet business requirements. 30. Explain the key considerations and best practices for performance tuning of a BAP developments in an implementation project. Answer. Performance tuning involves optimizing database queries, minimizing data retrieval, and leveraging SAP HANA features. Consultants use tools like Skull Monitor and SAP Early Watch Alerts for continuous monitoring and improvement of system performance. These questions and answers cover various aspects of SAP ABAP in implementation projects. Interviewers may adjust questions based on the candidate's experience and the specific requirements of the organization. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, Please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers, and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. 
For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.